going on everybody? This is Waylon Martin with BuyBillion.News. Today we are checking out Kevin Lavrone's posing routine from the 2016 Olympia where he made a comeback of sorts. This video I have not actually seen before. I've seen a few pictures from the competition. However, there's nothing that I've really looked at in detail. So this will be a pretty genuine review of my opinions of his comeback, etc. We might give a little bit of context at the end, uh, especially with the added perspective of seeing this video, etc. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're gonna try to keep this as raw as possible, although we'll have a few cuts, like when I grab water right before washing this. But yeah, Wayland Martin, buybuilding.news. We'll be right back. And we are back. So I'm gonna get this thing started and we're gonna see what Lavrone looks like here, or looked like in 2016 at the Olympia. Also, just off the bat, before we even start the video, noticing the Amazon marketing from uh, the Olympia stage. Good job, Amazon. They're uh, really expanding into things like Twitch, etc. So it's interesting to see that. They're uh, very creative. So it goes to show that the supplement industry at least brings a lot of money. A lot of people don't know that Amazon actually is way bigger supplement distributor than buybilling.com, which is also a huge supplement distribution network. So let's go, LeVron reaction. And there he is. Hitting that lat spread. Already you can see the shape of his legs is a little bit off here. Good upper body, thick torso, good, I mean great arms. His arms look spectacular, although unfortunately with those, those downsized legs, it kind of, the contrast, it's, it's a little bit sharp. Upper body looks great, good vascularity, lean. I mean, he, he's not fat. From the front, obviously he's not fat. And this side, we start to see the weaknesses, weak hamstrings, thick, Thicker waist, I mean, he has a very impressive waist nonetheless. Back shot, there you go. Back shot, you see the weaknesses. Again, impressive, impressive, but nonetheless, for age, impressive. As a bodybuilder, impressive. I mean, at a regional contest, you, this guy would easily. That's fucked up to say. That's not an insult either. I mean, it's like he, he's impressive. He's impressive, it's just, especially in the legs, it's lacking. It's lacking. If he had legs to match that upper body, it would be it would be excusable, those little flaws. I mean, guys have stomachs, etc. Low back could be sharper. We saw that the pre, uh, not the pre but the press conference, which I have a video of too. His arms don't have as much pop from these side shots. Like, he has a real, from the front, it's a perspective thing. It's very dominant, but from the side you see, he doesn't actually, it's an illusion thing. He has a great illusion to his physique. Great side chest, that's really cool. I don't actually believe he tore both his pecs. I mean, I know he tore the one that's always been torn, but I don't actually think, because his development's really good. And that one tear really shows, versus if he tore the other one, it doesn't show up. And if it was that serious of a tear, it would. I mean, maybe there's a little damage, but. The weak leg, I mean, not even weak legs, they're good legs, it's just for that caliber and for what we've seen from him even before. Although his posing is spot on, he's really good with his presentation. He's striated glutes. Credit for that. I mean, if anything, it's just a lack of muscle that we're seeing here. So that's the issue, not, and not necessarily, I think that's partially attributed to the age, not even just lack of training. I think you inherently lose a little bit of that type of density, even if you have muscle maturity. And then especially added the lack of training, um, even if it is attributed to injury, I don't think that's fully, you know, wow. Lat spread, I mean, lat spread still looks good. His legs don't have the pop from the back. That's really what it lacks. He, has, he just has narrowness to the legs. And especially when his arms still have that pop to him. Interesting, side tricep here. I like the variation there where instead of the straight on, like the holding the hand, I like it where he's just letting one arm down. And again, some fancy poses, really a master of presentation. This is impressive. His presentation is very impressive. Most muscular, routines done, kissing the crowd. Oh, no, there's more, folks. There is more. Here we go. Front, front, oh, there we go. And legend, hashtag, video is done. Bam. Yeah, guys, that was about what I would expect from this, uh, from this video here, from his appearance. I mean, I knew his legs were soft. I knew his upper body was impressive. I guess I was, I was more impressed with his condition. His condition was very impressive. Um, 
And if he if he was able to have that type of density, his legs, etc., I bet you his condition would be even more impressive because he was able to bring that condition even without having like a tightness to the muscle. Like you could tell his skin was a little bit less tight around the legs and the glutes, etc. However, it was still conditioned. He still didn't, you know, I have to give him credit for strided glutes. That was cool. Um, he, he was honest about the legs, so you can't really knock him on that too much. And, uh, you know, the pec injuries are old news. Even though he allegedly has new ones, I don't really know if I'm... You know, he, there was not a chance in hell he was going to beat Phil Heath. Like I said in the thing, and I wasn't meaning this to be an insult, like he could win a regional contest very easily. It would be very impressive, you know what I'm saying? He could go on to a national level, but he looks like a national level guy right now. And that's cool. He looks like a really good national, like, you know... Um, but it's cool. And, and all in all, I think it was actually really good for bodybuilding. I, originally, I know in my original video, I was like, no, nah, this isn't great for bodybuilding, etc." But he handled it very well. And I think maybe that was partially, who knows. But he did it really well, like doing the, the pose down with uh, Josh, the, uh, the Australian and uh, king of the gym and uh, Cedric McMillan. So that was cool because kind of it was like a generational thing. It wasn't just about him. So uh, yeah, all in all, that was cool. Kevin Lavrone, congratulations on a comeback. I am uh, more impressed now. And, uh, you know, going into the future, uh, he could be more of a threat, but I don't know. I mean, if he's not able to bring those legs up, uh, it's, it's, it's over. But, all right, guys, that's it for today. Real quick video. Waylon Martin with Bodybuilding.news, out.